Hi there YouTube. Uh, I have come back to Susan's Wood. I was here with with my friend John Hicks, best known for his uh, ICM photography. Um, and while we were out here, he gave me this little device that he's made. Now let me turn into the light so we can see better. So here it is. Um, now John made this himself. Well, you can see that. So basically what it's for, uh, you can put it on the ground, you can strap it to a tree, you can strap it to a gate post or a fence or anything like that. Put a ball, you can mount a ball head on it as you can see there, look. It's got a ball head on it. Um, and put your vlogging camera on it or indeed your stills camera. And um, that's what it's for basically. If, if my eyes are running, it's because it's bitter cold today. Even though the sun's out, it really is cold. So, uh, yeah, my eyes are running a bit. Right, so, um, yeah, John has given me this to, uh, he basically wants me to do a review of it, say what I think of it, um, use it, try it out, and just see what, it's basically, See what I think of it. We'll start out with the material. I think it's either aluminium or a magnesium alloy of some kind. Don't think it's steel, it doesn't feel heavy enough. Um, he's cut a number of holes in there so you can mount the ball head through any of those holes, position it wherever you want. And there's a couple of slots on either side which uh, you can use to put a strap through. So you can strap it to a tree, to a fence post, a gate post, um, or even your car if you wanted to film B-roll that way. Uh, the only thing it would definitely benefit from is some rubber feet. Because at the moment it's just got four bolts. I'm sure that's what he has planned, is to put rubber feet on it, but at the moment it's just got those bolts through. Um, but if he wasn't planning that, it definitely would benefit from it. Because if you put that on any surface other than the ground, it would just scratch it up. Okay, so I'm doing a piece to camera now with the device strapped to a tree. Um, I will say uh, that it's a bit of a ball ache strapping it to a tree. Um, it's not the easiest thing to do, especially if the tree's pretty wide. I would imagine it would be much easier on like a fence post or a gate post where you've got a much smaller area to strap it to. And there go my eyes running again. Uh, another problem with it is um, it's probably fine for doing like b-roll shots um, but once it's strapped on you can't adjust any height or anything like that uh, so that's a slight drawback but yeah so that's with it strapped to the side of a tree right so what I'm doing at the moment is I'm using it handheld so I'm literally holding the plate with the ball head with the camera on top. Um, now, for doing this kind of vlogging, you know, if you're walking along or whatever, where you'd usually be either holding a gimbal or, in my case, a tripod, it's way lighter. It's a lot more manageable for handheld stuff like this. Um, whether it could become a permanent option then you, you, you're kind of restricting aren't you but yeah if, if if a lot of your vlogging just involves walking along like this just doing handheld piece to camera stuff like this then it's ideal if you've got a long arm and a wide lens obviously because uh, it's really light so um, using it um, 
with with this strap cord, you just uh, what have I done with that? I hope I haven't lost it because it's not mine. So using the device in conjunction with the strap that John gave me to, to strap it with the, to the tree, um, whilst it was doable, uh, it's quite a fiddly job and it's a bit time consuming. I think it would probably be better if the straps were permanently attached, maybe about a foot long each one, with uh, maybe a clip, you know, like the plastic sort of push clips that you get. Uh, the sort of thing clips you get on camera bags like this um, so that way you can just clip it onto a fence post or a gate post or whatever and you haven't got to get this out thread it through wrap it around and all the rest of it um, but yeah put some rubber feet on it and maybe attach some straps and it'd be quite a useful little device um, whether it would be something that could fit in a marketplace saturated with camera accessories, I don't know. Uh, I'm not really an expert on that sort of thing. Um, there are other products out there like, for instance, Gorilla Pods and that that do the same sort of thing. However, they are quite expensive. But yeah, the idea behind it and uh, what, it, what its intended use is, is pretty cool.